Hey everybody, I just want to give you a quick little update here. Uh, I ran the battery bank last night, um, all night long with uh, two refrigerators, the freezer, and uh, pretty much the you know, lights and whatnot. Um, I brought the uh, battery bank down to about 75%. Took it about 16 hours to do it, so and that was with everything running except for one thing. Um, this refrigerator here, which is a refrigerator, a refrigerator I got uh, at Best Buy, it was a dent and scratch, um, like it's going in the garage, what do I care? Um, I think I know why it was a churn now. This freezer wants to run all the time. Um, I am going to have to call the refrigerator and find out what's going on with that. It may need a new control board. So what I did was, is I put him on a timer. Um, I got these at a local hardware store for about $15 a piece and um, they are really good. I have it set for an hour and a half off and uh, 45 minutes on uh, until the middle of the night around midnight then I let it go for um, uh, 45 minutes on and two hours off. So once I, um, I um, started putting them on a timer it started lessening the draw but um, Right now, that's 93 amps going into that thing. So at uh, 2,700, 2,500 watts, I'm making 710 right now. So, but it was a good test. I know that with uh, with some timers, I would uh, I'd be fine. I should probably put on the one in the kitchen as well, especially in the middle of the night. No one's up. You know, there's no sense in it being on. So, uh, other than that, things fine. Um, another update on adding more panels to this little system. Um, I have a decision to make. I have, uh, I think, a video up there that shows you my grid tie system, my 5,200 watt system, which, you know, I think I said in that video that once the power goes out, it, you know, basically turns into a 5,200 watt brick. Well, I did some research talking to a buddy of mine, and he told me about something called AC coupling. So I made some phone calls and found out what AC coupling is. Basically, it's a way to take a purely grid-tied system and um, hook up an, another inverter and uh, basically use that system. So instead of it being dead, you know, you actually um, can use it. So I'm looking at that now. Uh, Outback has a, has a way to do it. I would have to buy another inverter. This is a GVFX3524, as well as another E-panel. Um, and there's a couple of relays as well I'd have to buy. I'd have to buy um, uh, a relay that would wire up into the auxiliary port so when this thing uh, gets to, to a certain voltage it would stop charging the batteries because what happens is when you run these inverters, and this is for Outback support, when you run them that way they can't control charging the batteries. So these guys will sit here and just charge those batteries until they just go pop so and uh, we we don't want that so I have to do some more homework and try and figure that out but it looks like um, that's one issue the second issue is I have 5,200 watts of solar um, even though I have two inverters each inverter can only charge 2,400 watts total so that's you know 400 watts more than what these inverters can handle, so I may have to actually separate out the strings themselves. So, we got two little issues going on. Um, I'm not through researching it yet, I'm still trying to figure it out, but um, it looks like that's going to be the way to go. It's about five, six hundred dollars more than just getting four new panels, um, either a classic 160 or an FM80 to replace this guy, um, but you get more bang for the buck. You get minimal 2600 watts versus another you know, was it 9.50? So I'm still looking at it, still uh, trying to figure it out. I think I'm going to go with AC coupling now. Um, that means that there's going to be another one of these, and that's what these is, like this right here, right there. So I got to move some stuff around. About 90% sure that's what I want to do. But uh, that's all for now, guys. Just want to give you a quick update. Um, I'll let you know how it goes, but it actually may be a while because these inverters, that's $1,800 right there. And that E-panel, I think that's another $500, $400 or $500, so it's not cheap. Um, so it may be a while while I uh, save up the money for this.
But uh, that's it. You guys have a good one, and I'll keep you posted.